Hey Pokey peeps, we're back at it and I've got a game with that Grim Snarl team, so let's see how we go. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, he's got a pretty unusual team and a few Pokemon that the uh, Nialgo really just doesn't mesh with well. The main one being that Metagross. So I think I'm going to be leading with my Grim Snarl. And then my Volcarona, I think it's got the best matchup. There's only two Pokemon on the other team that Volcarona will struggle against. Uh, being the Blastoise and the Entei. Other than that, it should be all good. Alright, so yeah, Grim Snell, Volcarona, and he goes with Hydrocon and B Butterfree. I go for a Fiery Dance into the Butterfree, and then I went for a Spirit, uh, Spirit Shackle? Spirit Break, it is Spirit Break, into the Hydrocon, but obviously Rage Powder took me. He goes for a Nasty Plot, and I just go for a Bug Buzz onto the Grim Snell. Getting a little bit of damage on there, and then go for a Spirit Break again onto the Hydreigon, taking that out. So a huge threat out of the way. Now he goes for a Sacred Fire, getting the burn on the Grim Snarl, unfortunately. Uh, and we just go for a Bug Buzz and a Spirit Break onto his Grim Snarl, taking it out. Now I'm going to go for a Fake Tears into the Entei, doing a ton of damage with that Bug Buzz. He takes us out with the Sacred Fire, and we go down to the burn. But I'm lucky enough to have Dracovish and Regilecki in the back. So I can go for a Thunderbolt and take it out. And the Fisher's Rand would have just been that little extra overkill at the end. I'm a little bit surprised he didn't prioritize the Grim Snarl, uh, particularly when he had his Hydreigon out. That's probably the only play that I was a little bit shocked of if he had taken out the Grim Snarl. We would have really been struggling to get some momentum. Uh, the Volcarona didn't really have the best chance of taking out that Entei, particularly if it had uh, didn't have the special defense drop that we got. So yeah, definitely taking out that Grim Snarl would have been a little bit more important for his team. Again, it's a little bit hard when one of your Pokemon's main functions is just to take damage and die, i.e. the Butterfree there. If he had have had any other Pokemon in that slot, he would have had another offensive threat. He didn't really gain anything from having that Butterfree, Butter, Butterfree, Butterfree in there. So, yeah, I don't necessarily agree with it. I definitely would have also been bringing that Metagross, probably instead of either the Grim Snarl or the Butterfree. He just really made his own team way too support oriented. It was like he either wanted to set up or nothing. And yeah, Hydreigon, it can be a great Pokemon, but when it was up against a Grimmsnarl and a Volcarona, both of them could have okoed it with almost uh, with either Bug Buzz or the Spirit Break. So he really needed to do something a little bit more. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you did enjoy today's video, check out some of my others. I'm sure you'll like them just as much. Anyways, bye!